Hi, welcome to No Pants Just Rants, where I sit on the floor in my underwear and talk about things that grind my gears. Today I am wearing Hanes and talking about No Nut November. So for those of you who do not know, in November there's usually like a no shave November where you just don't shave your beard or your legs or your lady bits or what have you. Uh, but a lot of people have been doing No Nut November. And this year I am participating. And I will tell you why. Is this crooked? Bitches, you crooked? Hello? Is that better? Is that worse? Is it too dark? Ooh, child. I am lucky enough not to have any food allergies. Uh, but I do know that some people, uh, unfortunately, have allergies specifically to nuts. So this month, this one is for you. My No Nut November is dedicated to y'all. Usually I love nuts, but uh, I have to reprogram my brain into thinking that I don't like them to help me get through this month. Also, I think it's Girl Scouts. Is it Girl Scout season? I haven't had any Girl Scout cookies. Last year I yelled at a Girl Scout. I didn't know it was a Girl Scout till she started crying. <laughs> I wish that was a joke. I do wish that was a joke. But honestly, you can just keep your peanut butter patties, you dirty Girl Scout. I could go for one of them. The drink. The dirty Girl Scout drink. You sicko. Why do Girl Scouts sell cookies? How did this start? Why don't they sell things like useful? Why don't they sell batteries? They could be making a whole bunch of money to sell batteries. Let me tell you, every smoke detector in my house went off because the batteries were dying the other night. So now I took down every single one of my smoke detectors, went to go get nine volt batteries, $11. Per battery? Excuse me, do you know what I can get for $11? Three quesaritos at Taco Bell and still have money left for a value Baja Blast. Okay? Girl Scouts should sell batteries. $11 for batteries. F*** out here. What was I talking about? Peanuts. Peanut butter? Peanuts. Peanuts are weird. What is up with that little foreskin that's around them? Also, I used to eat the shell on the outside. There was this pizza place I used to go to as a kid, and they had like baskets of peanuts at each table, and you would just eat the peanuts and throw the shell on the floor. It was like their shtick. Except I think somebody slipped and broke their hip because it was like a slippery wooden floor, and, um, and they got sued, so. All it takes is one bad hip to ruin the fun for everybody. Peanut brittle, more like peanut brutal. One bite of that and you've got shards of broken glass tearing up your mouth. You've got more blood in your mouth than a sorority girl's bathroom trash can. That was disgusting. John edit that out. Don't even get me started on almond milk. What sick mother was messing around with an almond and found out they can produce milk? What were you doing? <laughs> also, did you know that if you eat too many almonds, you can get diorama? I read it on the back of a Snapple cap, so that is the only source I need in my bibliography to know that that is true. It's a fact. What other nuts are there? Walnuts. Are those the ones that look like shriveled up old man balls? I don't think I've ever had a walnut before. That's like such an 1892 snack. It's like, oh, coming home from work, gonna churn the butter and have myself a walnut snack before my supper of chopped lamb and cornmeal relish, I don't f***ing know. I don't think I could survive in the 1890s. What did they even wear? Photos made perfect. Restoring family history one photo at a time. That is not 1840s. Oh, what is going on here? Is this website okay? <gasps> Look at this couple. Oh, you know they are into some weird, freaky-ish. Look at her, she's like, I am into the reverse cotton gin, if you know what I mean. Is this website okay? Under construction, don't worry, me too. <laughs> me too. He looks like Connor Franta. Am I bugging? Am I nuts? When Nance compliments your cornmeal relish. Nance. <laughs> oh my god, how fun. Maybe I would do okay back then. Oh wait, no, they were like super racist. No, thank you. Cashew, I hardly know you. 
Did you know that this is what cashews look like when they're growing? That one just straight up looks angry. It looks like it was like born angry. Okay. Is it pecan or is it pecan? It seems like we pecant choose. <laughs> what else? Oh, pistachios. Oh, I think I might miss them most of all this month. I love the color. It's like a uh, sanatorium wall green. I guess it's kind of like a light Tiffany's green. Where the world sees a luxurious Tiffany's green, I see an insane asylum interior. What else is new? If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Share with a friend who needs to participate in the No Not November movement. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification. Follow me on social media. I promise I don't complain all the time. But the next time I do, you'll be first to know. This has been No Pants Just Rants. Goodbye.